Hey, America. All right, I'm going to finish this. All right, I was drawing this. I was doing a, an explanation of my why I have my episodes and my seizures. All right, where we left off was um, the um, during the 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 summer of 2010. And during the summer of 2010, my scapula begins to wing severely right here. Um, uh, and it starts causing problems from this side here into the arm, down here, and into my leg. Okay? And it's causing these spasms that just start on my left side, all right? So, where I go into, um, uh, there's a teacher at Lane Community College who told me to go to see this guy named Transgraffiti Therapy. And he does acupuncture all along here. And he, he, he does it first slowly and then he does it aggressively because there's only so much money to pay. Um, my back, uh, he's only got so many times because my dad's only paying for so much. What happens is this entire area becomes completely loosened. He meant to slowly reset the, 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 the muscles, but that didn't happen. Okay, December 10th, um, or December 18th, 2010. I'm working on some muscles up here in the back of my neck. These that raise up right there, and I'm massaging them, and I'm pushing down my back, okay? I have a wave that runs all the way. Uh, somehow, I get the spine to move, the entire thing. And a wave, I can feel it, runs all the way down and then bounces all the way back up, right? I don't know if I'm getting relief or not. I keep massaging the whole area here. Then it happens again. It goes all the way down, but this time it gets stuck. It gets stuck here and stuck on the inside of my leg, all right? This is the meat of my leg. Um, that's the bone there, all right? Here's the meat, okay? So, it gets stuck right in this area here, okay? And and through the sacral area here, okay? So, <laughs> so, okay. So when that happens, uh, that's uh, when that happens, uh, something gets locked down here, and something happens right here. I begin screaming at the top of my lungs. I'm on my knees. Um, I can't get something here to stop. It feels like a it feels like a muscle was ripping. I mean, it caused me to scream. I mean, literally scream, scream. All right. And I've been through a lot of like of this stuff, and yeah, I've I've hit ten levels a couple of times. Where no more than a couple. We're uh, yeah okay. So anyways, we're not talking about that. We're talking about what happened. Okay, so what happened was we had a, a, a whole disruption of the muscles along the spinal column and this right here. I begin walking to actually Hero Chiropractic, which is right across the street here, and I feel this muscle all the way down on the inside of my crotch right here, all the way down to my toe. So if I I'm leave my house and I'm walking like this, by the time I get to the office, I'm walking with my legs sideways like that. My, my shoulder hadn't started completely falling out yet, okay? So that's that was the very first thing. I get there and the guy doesn't know what he's doing. It's a called in doctor. I figured maybe it was because he was Asian. The girls on the line are like, yeah, he knows he didn't know. So I ripped my leg out going all the way over there, okay? So we got another leg over here, you know, da 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 da. And the bone. Okay? So now you have one single bone that runs through here and then the tool here, okay? I mean, here's something really interesting about the hand, all right? You got the fingers and all. The hand squeezes from so many different points, all right? The doctors say, here, squeeze my hand like that. Whatever, dude. You got squeeze here. You got squeeze here. You got squeeze here. You got squeeze here. You, same with each finger squeezes in a different place. 
Um, also, the way the fingers work in unison, these are your major, main pullers. These are your hang muscles. These muscles combine all the way down through this double layer. All right. So the reason why I talked about that for a second. <clears throat> so this is I'm, I'm seeing a craniosacral therapist and she's working on craniosacral therapy, which is from here to here, realigning me. And I'm starting to get strong again. OK, um, I'm, but I'm, I'm still having problems with my left leg. I'm still having problems going upstairs when I go upstairs too much. My left leg started collapsing. But I was getting better as long as I, I treated it not nicely. One day I'm walking for the bus, I miss the bus, and I go, and flex, snap. All right, so that's when this hits. All right, that's when this right here releases, okay? I have an electric shock entirely through my body. My body stiffens like a board, and I black out completely. I hit the ground and I'm coming back to um, and distantly, very distantly hear my head and on the ground. All right. Now, what that did was that created. Um, so we had a, a decompression on the front side here. If I were to turn it like this and draw it over here, it'd be decompression on the front side. Okay. What happened was that released. When that decompression released, which had been there since I was 15 years old, it sh and, and these uh, five through seven have been grinding all those years to be decompression shot, bang! And also my whole skeletal structure is, is, <clears throat> is thrown off. So now I don't know how to quit and I have to take care of myself. So, I mean, I'm getting people to take me to the store. I remember one day this little girl, um, uh, uh, my nieces, uh, Sammy Jo, um, uh, her mom took me and Sammy Jo had to, she had great fun, pull me around. I had to lay on top of the shopping cart because I couldn't walk. All right, this is going on for quite a while. Now, what happens is I'm getting craniosacral therapy and I'm also going to a guy named Chris Austerlitz who knows, has no idea what he's doing, and I find out, real, realize that he's making me worse while the craniosacral lady, um, Marie Kavrak, outstanding work, just outstanding. Um, <clears throat> she's busy trying to put me back together. Okay, so at this point, um, I'm not healing at two months, and I'm like, what the heck is going on? Um, when my neck zapped, I called out of school, I dropped out of school. Now, what has happened since all this has been, um, it, it, it's, it's, it's not stabilized. This is not stabilized, the spine is not stabilized, and this is not stabilized. And we have the major dis um, uh, destabilization here. Now, what has happened is because that's destabilized, everything, the muscles started beginning to move. First into the shoulders. Okay, first into, um, actually... Well, this is we're looking from the back. So this is my left shoulder first It goes in the left shoulder and starts messing around in here Then it goes in the right shoulder too starts messing around in here. So that's when Yeah, that's been happening. I don't like that at all. Uh. Oh god. Yeah, that's my it's something up in my neck is pinching really, really bad. So as you can see here, it's not properly right. Now if I go like that, it gets bigger. Now when my these arms started switching and it was actually it went all the way into the elbow and caused these two bones to rotate these two bones rotated and making it so it went down into the wrist now if these two bones rotate the wrist doesn't work properly so i can barely turn it that way and that way i can't turn it over i should be able to turn my wrist over but it's turning the bones okay so it's all the way down into here now my hand works like a claw now. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, so now this is three years ago. Okay, I go, I begin forcing my body to learn how to walk again, bouncing a little ball. Um, the left leg is still out, but I start making it stronger again. I uh, start making this whole area stronger again. Takes me uh, several weeks to get to the point where I can walk um, longer distances, but I'm, I'm still not able to uh, get on my heels. I'm still not able to access my main power. Um, this goes down in here, goes down, rotates those two bones, rotates those two bones, goes down on the hand, goes down on the hand. This continues working here, shoots down both legs, just a little bit, but all it takes is a millimeter off up here to cause some major damage down here. So as these two bones shifted slightly, causing my wrists, you can see how my wrist is messed up, man. I should be able to pull it up further. But if I squeeze, ah, I could get a, oh, a little closer. <sighs> okay. <sighs> So what, what you're saying, and, and actually Dr. Lynn notices. Mm. Uh, uh, oh my God, I am so lucky that did not get me. Oh, I'd be on the way to the hospital. Or this knife. <laughs> okay, 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 we're almost done. And then I'm gonna make dinner. And do the show. Yeah, or this knife. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so it's down in my hands. So I start squeezing a ball and forcing it back up in my shoulders properly. But you can see, and then I go, that don't work. But if I Rotate it like that. You see that? <laughs> it works. Like that. <laughs> All right, now straight up from the side. Won't do it. Won't do it. But if I rotate it, oh, it will do it. But it'll only go to there. It won't go anywhere. Okay. <sighs> la, 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 la. All right, if you can stay up there, you're going to do some work. <laughs> really? <laughs> Hang on to that for me, will you? Useless. <laughs> All right. So, uh, about two years, a year ago, I went and see Dr. Hawk, and he goes, oh, don't worry about the grinding going on, right? Well, the grinding went on and on and on, and now I fall down all the time. Now I have um, these things where I freeze up. Now I have moments of uh, non-mobility. Um Let's talk about some of the other things this has done. It's moved this whole area here. So everything down there, my plumbing is fucked up. Excuse my language, but I've got to say it like that. You hear me? All right. Um, up here. All right. So I went through a summer of 2012 trying to swallow. And you know when you swallow something and it's like a big piece of potato and you can't get it down. It hurts real bad every single swallow that I took for about three weeks to a month while this area shifted okay um, uh, so it, it is it's actually at this point it has gone so far that um so so when I first when I first got the movement see this stupid pens all right so I went in to the uh, to the uh, I went in and I had these, I had a tie around here and a belt around here because the dysfunction was right in here and I was trying to keep it locked in. Well, it eventually moved all the way up to the base of my skull and to the base of my back now. So if I go, Jesus is going to hurt. Ah! Like that. Ah, 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 ah. Ah. Okay. Okay, see? Ah. All right, where am I at? Okay, so what we have is we have a man who don't know how to quit. That might be some guy I know, okay? <laughs> and 
He uh, forces his body. I force my body. I force it. I force it. I force it like I did the very first day as I walked across this parking lot across town to see this chiropractor in hopes of help. I've continued to force it. I've made it run. I've made it walk. I've made it eat. I've, I, I lift. All right. I've worked out on the bag. I've, I've started with small weights. I started with rubber bit, um, 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 uh, inner tubes, using inner tubes, using very light weight. I went to, um, went to higher weights. Um, uh, I, I remember once I was doing the military and there's a power line right across here. All right. And there's also a power line that works directly from that to here. That's gone. And this power line right across through here, that's gone. So like a big bench press where I was doing bench pressing 250 pounds, 270 pounds, I can barely maybe push up. I haven't even tried it because it's a very difficult position for my, I can't be on my back and push up. I just can't do it. Um, not in getting any strength. I can do push ups, maybe five of them. I should be able to do 25 of them. Okay, so that main power area is gone. So what else is this done? Oh. This is very important. So the muscles that are up in the head go all the way around the scalp, man. And there are, many of them are connected to the back of the neck. And many of those are connected around to the jaw. Well, I'm missing teeth on the lower sides in the back. So in comes TMJ, temporal mandibular jaw syndrome. So with the TMJ, uh, 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 hey, that look like him day here. <clears throat> so, and with all these muscles moving now, why? Because this is all completely unstabilized. Why? Because now the nerves don't know what signal to send. I'm saying go this way, and part of them are saying go back that way. All right, because the whole skeletal structure is thrown off. It, <clears throat> the nerves just don't know which way to way to fire. All right, they're like fire here, fire there, fire here, fire there, and what I'm telling my neck is like we hold still or maybe turn off and it goes right, you know. So this is the reality of the of what I'm living with, and you, if you want to experience pain, I would not wish this on the devil. <laughs> All right, Jesus already went through some shit like this. His was a little shorter and more defined. <laughs> And I am not Jesus, but this shit has been kicking my ass for three years, man. Seriously, okay. I, I laugh, I joke, I cry a lot. I put a gun to my head a couple of times. And, you know, that was a long time ago when I just, I was so angry and so upset and so scared and just didn't know what the fuck to do anymore, you know. And then I decided to just start finding a way to fight back. And I fought back and I fought back and I started doing good things in the community and playing with kids. Man, uh, when I play with kids, I, I forget my, my pain a lot. Yeah, this guy's in pain. Look at him. He's a mess, man. This guy is a mess. <laughs> so I see the surgical, the surgeon in him in two days and Dr. Hawk. And maybe, um, maybe they're going to stop telling me I'm crazy. <laughs> I'd appreciate it. Because I can't go through much more of this. Because um, I'm falling all the time again now. The snow and ice kept me inside, and that's really hard on me. Um, I'm freezing up. My shoulders are... Uh, ow. I'm having a real, real bad day. Ow! I fell earlier a lot. So, um, there it is. Uh, degenerative disc disease between five and seven complete uh, uh, disruption of muscle skeletal system, which has affected all the other systems. Uh, it affected the uh, um, the uh, the uh, um, not pulling. Uh, the gastrointestinal system, all right, because that stuff has to go in and it has to come out, all right? And if you shift all the muscles and you shift the entire skeleton, everything's going to shift with it. Now, when, as this shifted my muscles, but not my skin, that's why a skin galvan, galvanic 
test is not going to find this. It's because it's the muscles. It's not the skin, all right? Yeah, the muscles are getting a signal from the brain. They're just confused, all right? Um, um, as, as, as the muscles underneath began to move, they itch real bad as it rips the fibrous layer that's in between the skin and um, uh, uh, the muscle. And you, again, if you're a doctor sitting there going, this guy's just a lay person, doesn't know what he's talking about. I spent 25 years taking apart animals, cooking meat, all right? I got 132 IQ. Oh, God. And just because I'm a little... Uh, make faces like that and stuff does not mean I'm an idiot. <laughs> and it also doesn't mean I'm insane. Now, um, the cart before... You know, I, will, I will admit that I had some real serious mental health issues in the beginning of this. Um... I didn't know what was going on. I thought I was being poisoned. I thought I thought all sorts of things. I just had a lot of problems in the first month or two. Nothing like this has ever happened in my life before. And I have doctors telling me I'm crazy. And I know that I'm not crazy. But this is talk about on top of the mental anguish of going through two major traumas back to back. Dropping out of school. My whole life changing. Um... And, you know, doctors telling me that I'm insane uh, after I've pushed on the wall and done a finger squeeze, Dr. Yoder. Um, and, uh, um, you know, I deserve better than this. I feel that I got a lot to give. And that's why I feel I deserve better than this. Okay. I've suffered long enough. I've, um, I've suffered long enough, okay? All right, so we're going to have, um, I'm going to make some Chinese food tonight. I'm going to get that all cut up. I wanted to get through that. Um, so, yeah, uh, I don't need to run it down again. You guys can see. You guys have seen enough. But the thing is, they waited three years. Okay? Now, even if they schedule me for a surgery, do more MRIs, get all ready to go, make sure that they check out what they're doing, and totally rebuild this entire area here, will I be able to put my muscles back where they should be? Where... Like the tip of my finger feels normal where it should be, but go down the finger and the rest of the finger and hand doesn't feel like it should be normal. But how many times can you go like that? I still think my hand is face up. Okay. <clears throat> now it's kind of sort of down in my head. That's because I'm, I'm rotating from places that should not rotate. All right. So the complete disruption of the entire my muscle skeletal system. And the only way that I kept it going is by doing all the exercising, by doing all the jogging, by forcing it, by forcing it, by forcing it. Because if I didn't, I would have three years of um, non-usage of muscles and be in a wheelchair a year or two ago. And <laughs> bye. <laughs> <laughs> Dang neck. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, it, it cut across my vocals too. So my my voice that used to be able I mean I I was really blessed with a beautiful voice. A beautiful body, man. I was blessed. Um, you know, I'm in the one percentile when it comes to um uh dexterity, strength, speed. Um, and that's the only reason I'm walking now. And my voice was along those lines too. But now, when I try to switch over, Fa so la Oh yeah, and I choke too. Now when I eat, I can't talk. A little epiglottis thing gets confused. Um, happens all the time. I often have to go 
and get the food out of my lungs. Um, the, the disruption is gone so far. You guys can see my ribs right here. You shouldn't be able to see my ribs right there. You shouldn't be able to see my ribs right there. This muscle should come down. I had really big lats. Uh. Alright, well anyways. It's going on for a while. So we have multiple doctors who've looked at this situation. And I have actually, you know, I have them telling me to do neck muscle, uh, neck uh, exercises. I've got them telling me to go to mental health while this is going on. And then uh, my father had to go to the extent of hiring uh, a lawyer and a team of people to make sure that I'm getting proper medical, which is really sad. Yeah. It's really sad that it's come to this level. I'm, I'm, I'm thankful that I've had a judge that, <clears throat> that can see that I'm disabled so I can get some medical help. But I told him, Told him, I don't know if they can ever fix me. I mean, if it would stabilize, at least that would be something. But getting worse and worse and worse and worse with me having to fight every day to get through it. <clears throat> My dad says, once it hurt the most. I'm like, it hurt the most. Well, right there. And when I spasm. And when I try to go to sleep as my arms start falling out of the sockets and they bruise, the, the shoulder blades bruise the muscling on my back. As my legs cramp and have massive charley horses that turn me into an upside down C. When I'm jogging and I hit, when I'm trying to jog and I start walking and limping and then I finally get some jogging going, well, my upper body isn't in the right position, so I have to spend a mile or two trying to force my arms to go up and go into the right position, trying to keep my breathing correct so um, I don't get spasms instead of things going in the wrong position. And that hurts a lot. That hurts unbelievably. So if you go by and you see me gritting my teeth and spitting and just snarling and growling, when I'm just running around the building, you know why. Okay. This is something about suffering. Okay. It's made me a much better man because I understand some things about people and the experience of this world. I understand some things more about myself. It's very important to love yourself. Suffering makes you wise in ways that you never thought you would. All right, Chef John, AKA Thor. I think you guys get the idea. I'm a mess <laughs> and you know why now. All right, um, I don't have all my, um, my MRIs and stuff like that right now or I'd start posting that along with this. Um, yeah, if you're a doc in another town and you want to help a brother out, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> Alright, um, this is not an easy fix, it wasn't an easy break, and it sure as hell has not been easy to live with it, especially in the middle of the night when I'm stumbling back and forth for weeks at a time, moaning and groaning and just trying to get my numb arms to work and flopping them from side to side, just a lot of just a lot of pain you know the skinned up elbows and the, the how many times i've had bubble bows from all the falls and the smashed up cheek and smashed up head from slamming into the ground um all the all the permanent scars i got on the sides of my knees now from having spasms it's a little much man but finding a way to keep going surely ain't me all the time. I'm not that strong. Something inside of me helps me stay strong. Something outside of me. You know what I mean? Jesus, 
Nam Sabhava. Nam Sadam. If you all understand that. All right. Much love. I hope you got something other than just that I'm in a lot of pain. Uh, uh, there's another side to this. And it's a pretty incredible side. It's what one human being can do against when everything looks so bleak that you just can't go on, you know, and just, yeah. All right. Peace out.